The latest updates to iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS now allow Apple devices to be used with PS5 DualSense controllers and the latest Xbox wireless controllers. Now you have more choices when it comes to playing games on your iPhone, your Apple TV, or your Mac, and I'm going to show you how to do it all. Right here I've got an iPhone, an Apple TV, a MacBook Pro, all of which can play various games from the App Store, Apple Arcade, and even more. Some games benefit from the touchscreen of the iPhone or iPad, but are harder to deal with on the laptop or the big screen. That's where these come in. The DualSense controller for the PS5 and the wireless controller for Xbox Series X and S are now compatible with your iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Mac. I'll show you how to connect these controllers with these devices. But before I do, please take a moment to interact with the like button for this video, the subscribe button for the channel, and the notifications icon so you can stay up to date. You'll be glad you did. First things first, since we're using Bluetooth, we need to learn how to put our controllers in discovery mode. For the DualSense controller, with the power turned off, hold down the PlayStation button and the share button for a few seconds until the lights around the touchpad start to flash. For the Xbox wireless controller, hold down the Xbox button to power it on, then press the pair button until the Xbox logo blinks. Now that we know how to do that, we can connect either of these controllers with any of these devices. Let's start with the most obvious choice, at least to me anyway. Using a controller to play games on the Apple TV lets you sit back and enjoy the big screen experience from a comfortable distance. Sure, you can do it using an Apple TV remote, Barely. Actually, it's fine for a game like Simon's Cat Storytime, but for a game like Spider, where you need to move and look around at the same time, a controller is really more ideal. To pair a controller with the Apple TV, open the Settings menu, select Remotes and Devices, and under Other Devices, select Bluetooth. You can see here I've been using my DualShock 4 controllers already. When I put the PS5 DualSense controller into Discovery Mode, it shows up here. All I have to do is select it, and away we go. And of course, the same thing goes for the Xbox controller. Now I can move my little robot spider around much more easily, and help get this space capsule out of a jam. Next up, let's talk about my Mac. I actually have a couple different choices when it comes to connecting these controllers to my laptop. One option is to use a cable. Both the DualSense and the Xbox controller have a USB-C port, so just plug it in and go. The Mac should recognize the controller when it's plugged in, but it might be hard to notice until you open a game that uses controllers. And it's worth noting that not all games are compatible with external controllers. You would think a controller would be great for a driving game like this, but nope. It's all about simplified controls on the keyboard. And actually it's even better suited for playing on your iPhone, but the keyboard works too. The other choice for connecting controllers is to use Bluetooth. Just put the controller into pairing mode, open the Bluetooth control panel, and select your controller. When I use the Xbox controller, it first shows up as this weird string of characters. But when I hit connect, the name changes to Xbox Wireless Controller. When I use the DualSense controller, my Mac doesn't identify it as a Sony device, but it does connect without a problem. I did notice that sometimes a game will give me prompts that go with the Xbox controller, like the A and B buttons, but the DualSense still works just fine. These options will probably come in handy if you're trying to play games from the Steam platform and aren't a fan of keyboard and mouse controls. Let's finish things off with the iPhone. iOS 14.5 now supports DualSense and Xbox controllers. This might sound familiar, but on the iPhone, go to the Bluetooth settings, and when you put your controller in pairing mode, it will show up here in the list. Now it should work with any controller compatible games you have installed. Again, some games are better played on the phone itself. But if you have a controller and a cool gizmo like this, then some games are a lot more enjoyable this way. Of course, you could just prop your phone up on a table like this and get the same effect. This method should also work with an iPad, but I don't have an iPad here to show you. Just take my word for it. Now you should be all set to play whatever game you want, on whatever screen you want, 
with whatever controller you want. What are some of your favorite games to play with a controller on an iPhone, or an iPad, or a Mac, or an Apple TV? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure and click all those other buttons to let us know how much you like us. I'll see you next time on How to Do It All.